In this video, we will take you through the process of networking your Defender DVR. These steps are applicable to DVR model numbers starting with 21, such as 21065 or the SN502 and SN301 models. To see these systems online, you will need to first confirm the local address is valid. Open the main menu. Log in using your DVR password if asked. Select Network. The settings that appear may vary. Any zeros in front of a number should not be written down for later steps. For example, 192.168.010.011 will be 192.168.10.11. The important settings to take note of are Type DHCP IP Address the DVR's address on your local network. If it shows 192.168.1.100, you may need to check your network connection. HTTP or web port. This could be 5000, 80, 8080, or 8000. Media or client port. For use in the NetViewer software and Clearview smartphone app, this will be 9000. Mobile port. For smartphone viewing using the ASEE application, this will be 18004. Gateway. The address of your router on the local network. On a computer on the same network, visit canyouseeme.org. Check the port numbers mentioned. If open, port forwarding has already been completed and no further work is needed. Take note of the IP address on this website. It will allow you access to the DVR outside your network in the NetViewer software or Internet Explorer. With the information from the DVR network menu written down, contact your Internet service provider and request assistance with port forwarding. You will need to open the ports found on the network menu. If asked, the TCP and UDP settings should both be selected when port forwarding in the router. If your internet service provider does not offer this service, you will need to open the ports manually. Guides for a range of routers can be found on portforward.com. If you receive a pop-up ad, close it using the X in the top right corner of the website. Any guide you select for your router make and model will show you how to enter the ports for forwarding. You need to ensure the ports you wrote down from the network menu are the ones being forwarded to the router. Once you enter the ports with the local IP address of the DVR and save your settings, visit canyouseeme.org again and check the ports. If they appear closed, you will need to check the information entered in the router. This concludes the first time networking tutorial for 21000 series SN502 and SN301 model DVRs. For more how-to videos and articles, visit defender-usa.com.